listen you have to go from being a believer in the word to being a believer in saying the word it's a huge difference The Holy Ghost Holy is Ghost God in the earth today. today. And you walk with him by saying words. The My name is, is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining Jesus us. Right. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. Holy if this Ghost isn't your first time God here the and these messages today. are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. I've spent much time preaching about the fact that Jesus sent the Holy Ghost to be with you in the earth and the fact that he is God a lot of people never hear this is it a big deal that Jesus went and is in heaven right is Jesus in heaven right now yes, yes he's seated at the Father's right hand and he sent one, one one to be with us so you know back off you don't like me talking about the Holy Ghost well too bad he's the one that's here the Holy Ghost is the only part of the Godhead in the earth today what what yeah that's right this message is not heard in many circles and so I have to preach it and preach it and I've been laboring in this message for years and it's starting to take hold but it is a two-part message say two-part message, two message that I was given the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and say and, and and you walk with him in the earth by saying words that's how you walk with him and I like to say words well then you're gonna have a problem the Holy Ghost is God he entered into the earth by words being said he's here today and the way we walk with him is by saying words you all right with us so stay with me today and I'll take you someplace sometimes it's a place you've never been before and you need to go I believe in saying God's Word say it I believe, I believe. in saying God's Word I've learned over the years it's a very big deal it's how I walk with God the Holy Ghost in the earth today oh you don't like saying the word or confessing the word oh then you don't like walking with God it's been this it's been this way for a long time you didn't know it but it's been this way for a long time this is how he does things this is the way he do things this is how he do things and if we want to do things it will be his way some people don't like it that plain but I've only got a short amount of time <laughs> second Peter chapter 1 let's look at verse 20 knowing this what first. first what order should we know this in according to the Bible first we should know this first you should know this first this is what you should know first yes. I wish somebody wrote it down and told me what I should know first that no prophecy of the scripture you understand what that is right the things that were written down and the promises say the promises, the promises. no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation meaning it's not just for one person it's for everybody who will receive it right yeah. for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God what spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost how did these promises get here into the earth holy men of God spake say spake, spake. I'm gonna keep driving this home holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost meaning they were speaking what the Holy Ghost wanted them to say it had already said it wasn't by their will it was by the will of the Holy Ghost so they were speaking the will of the Holy Ghost say they were speaking, they were speaking. The, will the will of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. who did this holy men of old 
this has been going on a long time people speaking what the Holy Ghost wanted them to speak are you here yeah. it's how we got the prophecy of the scripture that's of no private interpretation are we still on the same page yes. well don't let that word moved there it says they were moved by the Holy Ghost don't let that word moved throw you and thinking oh I got to be I got to be somehow moved by the Holy Ghost well you're not writing scripture anyway mm -hmm. but they still had to speak they still had to use their will and speak what he was telling them to say god doesn't force anybody to do anything you have to choose say choose choose, choose to speak what he is saying mm -hmm. or what he said mm -hmm. it's been going on a long time they chose to speak what he said it's your choice could they have chosen not to speak what he said yeah and some of them did we see some of them did that and they were like i'm not gonna say that it didn't work out so well for them did it no. so he said that these promises that were spoken by the holy ghost i gotta i gotta you just gotta keep up with me these promises that were spoken by the holy ghost right mm -hmm. his words are of no private interpretation and they had to choose to speak them yes. so we have words by the holy ghost that you can choose to speak or not isaiah chapter 55 and verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth now who would be saying this we just read over in second peter the holy, the holy ghost right mm -hmm. so shall my and this is one of the things he wrote down so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth what does that mean he spoke it so shall my spoken word be listen this will take you someplace if you'll hear it so shall my spoken word be it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish what shall accomplish the spoken word the spoken word shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto i sent it what shall prosper the spoken word shall prosper so shall my word be now does that remind you of anything in the beginning god said let there be he said let there be and then he continued to say a bunch of things and then whatever he said be mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. that's the earth we're in right now so shall my word b what word the spoken word so shall my spoken word be and it the spoken word shall accomplish what if the word isn't spoken it don't accomplish anything mm -hmm. the saying of it shall accomplish say the saying of it, saying of it shall accomplish shall what shall it accomplish the thing said the saying of it shall accomplish the things are you here mm -hmm. say the saying, the saying of, it of it shall, shall accomplish, accomplish the things the what things the thing said the promises Amen. the not saying of it shall not accomplish the things mm -hmm. i believe in saying the word big believer somebody asked me if i'm a believer the other day and i said yeah big believer you go into it what do you believe in i believe in saying the word it shall accomplish i've seen it accomplish you can't tell me it doesn't i've seen it too many times when i say god's word and i say god's word and i put his word in my mouth it doesn't return void it accomplishes that every time the only time it doesn't is if you stop so in here we have a fundamental belief that in every word of god is the ability the power 
and the faith to bring itself to pass we can see that he said it that word has to have the thing in it to accomplish the thing he sent it for mm -hmm. are you here so every word of God every promise of God it has the faith in it to bring itself to pass already embedded in that word itself and it will bring that to pass he already released that power and that faith in that word if it's a healing verse of scripture what's in that healing verse of scripture healing, healing. genius come to the front if it's a prosperity verse of scripture what's in it prosperity that thing is released in it do you believe this mm -hmm. i believe it my agreement with that word and i agree by saying it my agreement with that word gets it to me he'd already released it already it's already in there but my speaking it and agreeing gets it to me people ask me do you believe the Bible and I say yes I believe the Bible but it's a lot more than that I believe in saying the Bible now there's a difference here one is is a fine is a fine level of belief yes amen the other one is an active process that brings it to you yes. are you here yes i believe in saying god's word a lot of people believe the bible but they wouldn't dare believe in saying god's word mm -hmm. i can't tell you how i'm trying to but i can't tell you how much i believe in this mm -hmm. saying god's word why because it produces the thing said to who to you it's a huge difference between believing the bible yes amen and believing in saying god's word listen i'm here to help you and you need help that i've been doing this a while i've been at this a while my agreement with him and his word gets him involved in my situation the holy ghost is god in the earth today when he hears his word he begins to get involved because it's his will he already said it when you say god's word it the saying of it takes you to the place that word said if it's a healing verse of scripture it takes you to healing anybody need healing and start saying healing scriptures prosperity if I'm saying a prosperity scripture it takes me to prosperity I wasn't in it before and now I'm in it now how about youth renewal any promises there yes. speaking his word takes you to that place say that place, that place without saying god's word and without god's word in your mouth you can't go to where those words were designed to take you they were designed to take you to that place said is this any good i think it's better than i think you think it is each promise takes you to where it said or where it says but you must let your tongue steer the ship but without the rudder you start to flounder and that's where most people are so how can you criticize me for saying what god said you wouldn't believe all the criticism you get with this kind of a message but to criticize me for saying what god said you're on slippery ground i'm just saying what god said i believe in saying what god said who could have a problem with that honestly say i believe, I believe in, saying in saying god's word. god's word where will the saying of his word take you 
to where that word said second corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 two of the promises wait a minute all of the promises of god are yes and amen is this in your bible yes. all of the promises are already spoken by the holy ghost those promises he already spoke and they already contain his faith and his power and his ability to bring it to pass he already spoke it they're there all of the promises of god are they are. are they are they exist he already said them just like light be those promises exist whether you're walking in it or not all the promises of god are yes <laughs> yes they are they are they exist i'm telling you sometimes you want to shake people i'm telling you those promises are they exist but what is that to you nothing if you don't say the amen and what's amen mean so be it so be it unto me so his words remain dormant even though they exist until you say so be it unto me i believe in saying god's word it's his faith it's his power his it's his ability that brings it to pass if i'm doing my part and i believe in saying it until it comes to pass i wish i could get this across to people i said it once this morning i said that's not gonna work one time isn't enough you have to say it the active sense of saying it until say saying it until, saying it, until. it comes to pass this is his way this is how he chose to do it even from the beginning and god said you don't need to pray you need to say people spend so much time praying oh god do this god do this god give me the thing that you've already said you gave me do the thing that you've already promised to do in your word you ever heard this have you ever done it i've done it you don't need to pray you need to say god's word he already said it now you need to say it it's already his will i believe in saying god's word can you see this are you getting it psalms 107 20 he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions what did he send his word. his word and what did it do it healed them and delivered them from their destructions whatever their destruction was his word that he sent healed them and delivered them how did he send his word he sent it by saying it his said word healed them his said word delivered them mm -hmm. say his said word his said healed word. me his said word his said delivered word. me if you can get a grip on that it will change your life you will be a believer in speaking god's word his said word saved his said word healed his said word delivered his unsaid word didn't do anything i do this i live this i'm a believer in saying god's word say i'm a believer, I'm a believer. in saying god's word. saying god's word all the promises already are they already exist now listen you have to go from being a believer in the word to being a believer in saying the word it's a huge difference I'm not trying to get you to believe the bible i'm assuming you do but you have to go from believing the bible say believing the bible, believing the bible. to believing in saying the bible and it's a huge huge difference it's a whole new world it's an infinite difference 
oh I love the word I love the word nah I get it I love the word too but I love saying the word it's different and you have to get to this place when you get here you'll never go back it's everything saying God's word saying it shall accomplish the thing mm -hmm. you wanted your answer there it is saying it God's word will accomplish the thing what thing the thing said mm -hmm. his word that you're saying thank you Holy Ghost for blessing these people and that they've heard this word this evening and their life shall never be the same says the Spirit of the Lord for they shall learn how to speak and vocalize my words and those words shall begin to transform them into the things said we thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name amen, amen. if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I thank you you are the living God and your word concerning prosperity is working for me now I'm blessed I'm made rich and no sorrow added in Jesus name Amen the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right